Sonoff Mini is a DIY smart switch using which you can control your home appliances using your smartphone, Alexa, Google Assistant, and well, if you don't have anything or maybe your internet is down, you can control the appliances with the regular switches as well. So let's see how to use it. So let's first start with the box content. So this is how you will receive the product and well, you can purchase this product from the links mentioned in the description. Inside it, we get the Sonoff Mini itself, a jumper cap, an installation guide or user manual and one quality check card. So this is all about the box content. Okay, so now let us focus on the actual product. So here is a smart switch and if I talk about the brain of this product then this is based on ESP8285 Wi-Fi chip and we do have a OTA pin that means by just connecting the jumper cap in it we can update the firmware of this device over the air and not only that we can also control this device by using its IP address and many more cool stuff we can do. I have seen all this in one of the video by Sir Andres on his YouTube channel so I will leave the link for that also in the description. Now one thing which I find unique about this product as compared to all other Sonoff devices is that this device also has the manual as well as the feedback system. Now if you are my regular follower then you must be knowing that previously I made a project called internet and manual control with real time feedback exactly that project is converted into product by Sonoff exactly that. So now let's just see how to interface this with your switch and appliances. So take the product and connect the AC input, AC load, a regular switch in this manner. Now if you power on the device you can control the load with the help of the switch which you normally do with your regular switchboard. Nothing crazy but a lot useful. This feature will be useful when your internet is down or when you don't have your smartphone with you. You can just control the appliances as you regularly do. Now moving ahead we also have one smartphone app using which you can control this switch from anywhere in this world via internet. And for that you need to have this app called EV Link on your smartphone. It's available for both iOS and Android so not an issue. Just open this app, make an account and you will get a screen like this. Now before moving ahead, make sure your smartphone is also connected to the same Wi-Fi router whose credentials you want to add inside Sonoff Mini. This being said, click on the plus button. Now enter the Wi-Fi credentials of your router. Now wait for some time while the phone detects your device. Make sure the phone, the device and the router are nearby each other. Okay, so the device is successfully detected and the credentials are sent to the device as well. Now name the device, uh, I will name it as Bulb and you are done with configuring your app. Now you can control that switch with the smartphone as well. Don't forget about the feedback system. Even if you control the appliances with the help of the switches, the status of the device will be updated on your smartphone as well. Pretty cool, right? Now one thing which I don't like in this device is that the on-off position of the switch gets changed in some conditions. Uh, let me show you a demo. In this case, I'm turning off the appliance using the phone and turning on using the switch, okay? So now the position of the switch is on on the right and off on the left, cool. But now if I turn off the bulb from the phone, then the on off position of the switch gets swapped. Now it's on on the left and off on the right. It's not difficult, but still I didn't like it. Rather the company have changed the code for this product and make it work like the regular switches without swapping the on off position. That would be more convenient. Now this is what I think. Even in my version of this project, the on off position of the switch never changes. You can just check out the video and uh, make it if you are interested in that. And that's all about getting started with this product. Uh, now in the beginning, I said that this device can also be controlled with Alexa and Google Assistant as well. But I didn't cover that particular thing in this video because I wanted to make this video precisely for using this product. And also some of the viewers watching out this video may already know how to interface Google Assistant and Alexa with this EV Link app. So that's why I didn't uh, add, add that particular thing in this video. But still, if you don't know how to integrate these services, don't worry. I have made a separate video for both Alexa and Google Assistant and uploaded it on my Instagram TV. So just head on to instagram.com slash techiesms or just click the link in the description. You'll find out how to integrate EV Link with the Google Assistant and Alexa. Okay, so ending this video here, I would say I really love this product by Sonoff because of its uh, manual feedback system. And uh, let me know if you like it or not. Uh, would you purchase this product for your home office or lab? Let me know in the comments below. That being said, subscribe my channel if you haven't. And now just wait for my next one. Let's explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.